Chelsea, you kind of make fun of Ashley for looking basic, but. <laughs> She's also wearing the plaid pajama pants to school with the sweatshirt, correct? I know. I know, but you're actually in middle school, so that is actually more attire for middle schoolers. You got your one and only, no, you've had two cavities filled now, right? Is that your first one? I don't know. No, I think that's your, <laughs> your only cavity that she, I think she only had one. I think the last appointment was to check and see what you needed done, right? And um, now she is ready for, hi, welcome to her day, by the way. She is ready for braces. She's all swollen, so she's... I gotta get her back to school quickly. Do you still need allergy medicine? Or still need to run home and get that? No. You'll be okay? I still want water, because I don't have that. You don't have water at, at home? Here, I have a water bottle. Just take this for now. Okay. okay. Um, I gotta get... I gotta hurry, because I am going to get my hair cut. And we'll talk about why because I'm sick of I know but I'm sick of it being even as long as it is so I'm gonna chop it how short I don't know I don't I above my shoulders above my shoulders because I can't when I straighten it then this bottom part starts to be all flippy all right dropped Chelsea off at school I went and got her a smoothie because she's like, I don't think I can eat anything but the yogurt that I packed for lunch because she forgot. I mean, she knew she had this appointment, but she just didn't know how numb she was going to be. Okay, this is how much I think we're going to chop. Should I do it? Should I chop that much off? I don't know. It's going to be really cute. I know it's going to be cute. I just, I'm cutting off. I was just Marco Poloing my sister. And I was like, I'm cutting off the last of my highlights that I had done probably a year and a half ago. I can't remember if I got it done. No, I didn't go to Utah last summer, this summer. So yeah, it's been a year and a half. I did it last summer. We're about to cut off the last of my highlight and we are, I have a bet with my twin sister, Erin, and we are going El Natural. We are not getting coloring and highlights and bleaching this year to save money. So I can't afford to get my hair dyed here in Washington. This haircut's gonna cost me $120. <laughs> I asked Jason, I was like, do you want me to try and figure out a way to go to Utah and get my hair cut for, you know, a lot cheaper? Or do you want me to just pay the hundred bucks and get it done here? And he was like, oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> Obviously I'm here, I'm doing it. So let's go and see how much I cut off. It is short and it's wet because I had to walk in the rain. Try not to touch it. I'm going to blow some hot air on my head. I don't want to touch it. I want to just dry it off because it'll not be straight. It'll curl up. Just kind of angled it down. I still have a little bit of the highlight color left. Kind of gives me like a really bad ombre balayage look, I guess. But I am happy with it and it's this is a good friend of mine that does my hair. So it's always fun to get caught up with her because I haven't been to get a haircut with her for a year and uh, a lot has happened this year. So we had a lot to talk about. Her daughter is Kaylee's age. They went to high school together. And so it's been fun to like get caught up. And uh, anyway, so what time is it? Oh, I actually have some free time. I need to go home. What do I need to do? I think it, and edit this video, I can start on that. And then Ashley, <laughs> I got a, a, a text um, from Ashley's coach last night while she's at practice. And she was like, um, why hasn't Ashley signed up for the other cheer class? It's not even a cheer class. Um, it's a dance drill class. Um, why hasn't Ashley signed up for that? And I was like, because she's already on three different squads. And uh, I don't, and a tumbling class. And I was like, like I just I don't know that she can handle it. And she keeps giving me different answers. And she's like, well, I'm standing here talking to her right now, and she wonders why you haven't signed her up. And I was like, are you kidding me? 
she keeps telling me she doesn't want to be too tired and her back hurts after practices and we don't want to overdo it. And she's like, this class, it's a dance drill and they're doing hip hop this year, um, starting with this session. And she's like, I think it would actually be really good because she knows what back pain Ashley has. They talk about it when they do um, her tumbling class because they help stretch her out with they have like roller balls and stuff so they help stretch her back out um, from doing her competitive squad practices the night before they give her a really good stretch and a really good workout um, and then they do the tumbling side of it she's like the hip-hop style won't hurt her back if anything it will help stretch everything out and have her body moving differently than it does for the cheer um, sections of her classes and so came home and I signed her up <laughs> so that class starts tonight which is why she was kind of bugging me to hurry and get signed up for it so we started we signed up for that um, it just means that she has to get picked up from school now for that class every single week <laughs> so that's another reason why I was like do I really want to sign her up for things that I have to like you know I have to change our schedule for but given that she's on her phone with her friends all evening long um, and not doing anything uh, and these kids are going to start doing spring soccer and spring um, basketball and things like that and not be available to play and hang out and chat online and so might as well put her into another class and the coach said it only runs through the end of February let's try it out see if she likes it then I can give her a break for March um, when and then she can rest her body and be more ready for Japan in April so I have two hours before I have to leave and go and pick her up and take her to that class um, but I'm just gonna wait there because again it's just harder to travel around and by the time I get back home I literally have usually I have like for this class it'll be like 20 minutes before I have to turn right back around and fight major traffic to go back and get her so I haven't decided if I'm going to actually go walking during that class tonight or whatnot. Anyway, I need to get back to walking. I need to get back on my treadmill. I'm just having a hard time being motivated. And I'm really tired today. <laughs> so we'll see what I decide hey. to do. I've got this little munch munchkin from Parent Pickup. She's gonna head into class and I have my workout clothes on. Shut it. Okay. Shut my trunk. You got a new haircut? I did. I was wondering when you were going to notice. I noticed, but like, it's not a big difference. It isn't a big difference. I cut like <laughs> so many inches off. Are okay. you kidding me? Okay. Okay. I was wondering when she was going to notice, but we were like really busy talking this whole drive over here. So, yes. She finally noticed. Chelsea has noticed. Abby has not said anything. But I'm going to put my camera away go and walk while I listen to music or I actually have two podcasts to listen to. They're usually on YouTube and then I just listen to it, you know, whatever. So um, I'm going to go do that. I've got my water. I'm just going to leave in here um, and I'll just walk out and get some. Um, it's fun. So this cheer class, this is just, they'll do an extra performance at the games in their own little squad which is kind of fun. So she'll get to actually dance in every single group that's performing. Um, and I don't know if we told you guys, she gets to perform for the Harlem Globetrotters next month. <laughs> so cool. We've been working on getting that deal um, for a couple months now and he finally got it finalized. And so that's really fun. So she'll get to perform for every different like performance at that game. game. We've been trying to explain to the girls what Harlem Globetrotters are because they just don't have any idea. And so we've had them watching like YouTube videos on them and they're like, they're not really playing basketball. <laughs> like, no, that's not what they do. They just play with the basketball. <laughs> All right, I think I just made a huge mistake. Can't believe I did this. I walked for just an hour. Um, I'm almost at 10,000 steps, so I felt good about that. And I was like, you know what, Ashley didn't, she asked for Panda Express the other day and I was like, no, 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 we're gonna go home. We just need to eat at home. So I left today and went and got her some Panda. 
but me and Jason and Kaylee eat it, so two plates at Panda Express feeds like four people. So it's worth getting. <sighs> this is my problem. Dead stop. In my head, I haven't done this dance pickup. Um, well, I've done it at 8 p.m. for Ashley and her, and 9 p.m. for the other two nights that she has practices for. So for me to leave a half hour before she's done, totally fine because that would be 7:30 or 8:30, and I wouldn't have traffic to fight with to get back to her to pick her up because I just wanted to pick her up and go straight home rather than getting the food after I get her. So now I have 11 minutes to fight traffic. <laughs> there's like no, there's only one direction. There's only one way to get to her and it's through the traffic. It took me eight minutes to get here and get my food and pay and leave. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping, luckily I have the coaches well, we have a remind, so I have a way of texting a coach and telling her I'm coming because I know she saw me. She's like I walked right by the window where they where they're practicing. She knows I'm there, at least thinks I'm there. So we just I don't know. So we're like I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's just like this. Ugh. And if I could squeeze through these two lanes, this is an on ramp over here. And this lane that I'm currently in is a right hand turn only after that light. You see the light right there that just turned green? I'm not turning right. I need to go straight, but I can't get into that lane. So annoying. Might not seem crazy that I only have four lights to go through in nine minutes. I have nine minutes and four lights. Let's see how long it takes me. I'm, I'm actually like going faster than I thought I was going to go. I'm just not used to having to do this at 5 o'clock at night versus 8 or 9. I'm going to have to remember this going forward. <laughs> but it's not worth me going home during the practice because the other side of traffic is over by me at my house after I drop her off for practice. <laughs> it's like a lose-lose situation. So I have to just come, stay, walk, and then pick her up. All right, when I saw the light ahead of me, my very last one turning yellow, and I had at least eight cars ahead of me, and I only two cars were making it through for light, I ditched it into a back alley through a parking lot, and I have two minutes to spare, and I am literally just one stop sign now away from her, and this will go fast, because there's not much traffic over here. It's probably only traffic for we're picking up kids from all the little practices. There's like a volleyball going on and a, a special needs um, basketball class. And there was another one I saw going on. So I am at that last stoplight now. We made it. Literally the first person walking out and just in time. She's hopefully going to be happy that I have this panda. <gasps> oh. Did you get like the good award? Yeah. Aww. What do they call it again? Like the spirit? Maggie. Huh? Did she say Maggie? What do they call it? Maggie. Maggie? Oh, megaphone. I finally joined dance show. <laughs> you finally joined it. I knew I was. Was she get giving it. you such a hard time? Yeah. She, she was like. Little brat. She was her like, coach. That's what we were talking about. It was yesterday. When I was like telling, telling her that you said you yeah, didn't she, want to get it. You were blaming me. Because that's what you said. And then, and then she was like, and then my other coach, she was like, make up these lies faster. And now she's going to say that to everyone and be like, make up these lies faster. Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, so I'm at home. Jason's been home for like over an hour. Given I was on the couch and was laying like this, he hasn't noticed my hair. 
and um, I just came upstairs and talked to him. Didn't say anything about it. So I'm in a shower and we're just gonna see how long it takes him. I'm gonna tell the girls all to not tell him. He's home tomorrow, so I don't know if he's gonna notice. I doubt.